What is up guys, Pizza here, obviously, and today we are back with more Star Trek Conquest. Yes, continuing our build-up celebration to the release of Star Trek Infinite, a brand new Star Trek Grand Strategy game. We are going back to the previous Star Trek Strategy game released for the PS2 by Bethesda. Last time we tried to conquer the galaxy as the Cardassian Union. Go check out those videos, link somewhere probably at the end of this video and also in the description. Today, as I promised last time, we are going to be starting as the Federation, who start in the middle of the board. And we are not just starting as the Federation, we are going to go ahead and start it on hard, facing off against every other person in the galaxy to see if we can survive. This is all DS9 air races, so you've got the Klingon Empire, the Romulan Empire, the Breen Confederacy, the Cardassian Union, and the Dominion. Let's see if we can pull off a miracle. Now, we've got a pretty big view of every system in the game. This is the one benefit to being in the center of the board, is you have a big view of where everybody else is. Now, as we saw in the last video, we know exactly where everybody is, so I think our best bet right now is to just build up some defenses, and probably strike out mm, closest enemy we would have is the Klingon Empire, and I feel like that would be a great place to strike out at first. So that's where we're going to put most of our resources to, is conquering the Klingon Empire. It may leave Sol undefended for a little bit, but I think everybody else will be too busy fighting with each other to turn their attention on us just yet. As I explained in the last game, you do have management, you can build science stuff, you can build mining facilities, you can build up your fleet. Your fleet has three separate admirals, whether they are attack, defense, or movement, I think the Federation has one of all three, and you've got three different ship types to choose from. So we're going to go ahead and build ourselves up a little Cruiser fleet here. Pretty solid, it's at least good enough to take over these neutral systems, which have non-playable factions in them, like the Ferengi, Zendi, Borg, and Orion. Let's see who we're going to run into in the Andorian Empire, though. Ooh. The Borg, but not as big of a Borg fleet as we faced as the Cardassian Union, so probably not something we're going to have to worry about. Obviously, the one thing that is different is the Federation uses phasers, slower firing, longer distance, less damage. Let's see if we can manage to take down the Borg with just this small fleet. Full power to weapons. And I'm not going to waste any time, we're just going to put everything we have into attack. Not exactly the Federation way, but hopefully something that'll pay off for us in the end. Now, you gotta be a lot more precise. You know, everything else just kind of careened off as the Cardassians. This time, you've actually gotta take your shots and line them up so they aim up exactly where you want them. Thankfully, we were able to take out that small Borg fleet without much issue. But one unique thing about the Federation faction in this game is all of your admirals are not really characters you'd remember. They're from really on early in TNG, whereas everybody else has pretty much n characters you'd know right off the bat. So that's the one interesting thing that I can say that this game does that nobody else really does is they take some unknown characters and puts them in command of the Federation. Awaiting orders. Of course, we've got one more move. We're going to go ahead and take it and spread out our influence a little further. And it's the Ferengi. Once again, not a big issue, especially not for us. Enemy scout eliminated. And again, no big threat from the Ferengi. Easily took it over. Now, unlike the other the factions target. which start off with mining territories in their home sector, we actually have to do more about that than they would. We don't have a mining system yet to bring in. Mining colony constructed. So we have to build our own. Does mean that things take a little bit longer, which is why I'm gonna hold this kind of small sector if I can. Next term, I'm probably gonna build another admiral who can go out here and hold the Vega system while I focus on taking out this part over here and then building a third admiral who can really help us out over here. Having all three fleets is really what you need to do as the Federation. Get the most money you can, get the most fleets you can, and really just use all of them so that you can spread out and keep yourself well defended. Because since you are in the middle of the board, Everybody is going to be gunning straight for you. For the Empire! For the Empire! Okay, no sign of the Klingons yet. We're going to see the Romulans. The Confederacy. Nope, no sign of them. Can the brains seem for to be off on their own Gadassia. little world. Alright, doesn't look like we're going to be seeing founders. anybody just yet, which is perfectly fine by me. It gives us more time to build up what we need. 
And of course, yes, we are going to go ahead and get a new man out. We don't have anybody who can actually move as fast, unlike we did on the Cardassian side. We've, we've already got him out on the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Savar, a more Waiting defensive orders. specialist, and send him out over this way. Cruiser constructed. Awaiting orders. Orders acknowledged. And have him slowly build up his own little defense network over here. Now, it is this is going to be a little more difficult, especially taking on some of these non-playable factions at the start, because we're just not going to be anywhere near as strong as them. Thankfully, we didn't run into another Borg one, because these guys would not have been able to take it on all on their own. And there they go. Whew. Kind of a little worried there. Our shields did take a beating, but Savar was able to hold it. Unfortunately, we're not going to be building any mining facilities or anything because that is just outside of a price range right now but we can keep gathering some experience so we're probably gonna spread mm, mm, there's really nowhere I think I'd like to spread right now um, because it's not gonna do us any good and it just leaves money on the table essentially so I think we just need to hold where we're at end our turn and see what happens. Now, I did say that we want to take on the Klingons and I think that's still accurate. I was just thinking about maybe because the Romulans aren't as strong militarily, but I really think it's still in our best Awaiting interest orders. to do what we can to take out the Klingon threat before anything else. Now, it's a three-star system, orders so if we received. take it over, we're going to get a little bit more money from it. Ferengi. Of course, the Ferengi are here in force, so it's going to be a little more difficult. Full power to weapons. But I think we can take it on. Yeah, just gonna have to really hedge our bets here. Especially because the Frankie have their own big dreadnought here, which is gonna be able to do quite a bit of damage if we can't take them out first. Enemy scout destroyed. I think we want to focus on these smaller guys first. Enemy scout eliminated. Just so we have less things shooting at us. Enemy scout destroyed. Alright, come on. Yep, we've already breached his shields. Good enough for me. Go ahead and take him on down. And he's down. All right. Looks like we'll be able to take this sector after all. Motion game. Aaron, of course, getting himself promoted, which is good. We're going to go ahead and build another mining facility. It's far more important than anything else is right now. Just got a bunch of undefended mining colonies, which is not great not great right now whatsoever do we even have enough to build another fleet we do just barely so we're gonna actually get this third fleet Awaiting orders. right out at the jump of the start it's gonna cost us a little bit but it's much better that we have three fleets to rely on than we have none to rely on at all because really aaron's doing a lot of the heavy lifting right now we are starting to see the klingons they are starting to move out the, Empire. the romulans are still off doing their the own thing for Cardassia. And we are seeing the Cardassians now as well, so we are once again making sure we're not spread too thin. Infrastructure. I think just having a couple more ships on hand will help him out a lot. But look, we're not going to reinforce it all right now. I am going to move Aaron down here Awaiting orders. to take on that Klingon fleet and get them moved out of the way. Hopefully they won't be too much of an issue for us to handle. All right, decently sized, but I think we'll be okay. And we're gonna take off, if we can destroy this fleet, that'll put the Klingon back as well because that'll revert him to no experience whatsoever. And I think we've got a good chance of taking this down. Plus then we can plop down a mining facility here as well, which will really help us out. I'm not sure the Klingons have decided to invest in a second fleet as of yet. Yep, really just trying to get the head start jump on him. Pulling away. Giving ourselves some room. Yep, let's just focus on the same thing with the Frangi. Let's focus on the smaller guys before we go after their bigger one. Better to have less things shooting at us than to take out the bigger guy first. Alright, now we can just focus everything we want on him. And completely missed those torpedo shots. Completely biffed them. Got him. All right, now we just got these turrets, and we'll be able to claim this system as ours. Get a little bit more money flowing in. Which is good. 
and we don't take too much damage from these turrets, but once again, they're just turrets. I really would be offended, kind of, if we took too much damage from turrets, of all things. Oh, and we're actually just out of the money we need to get another mining facility, which is unfortunate. I would send Savar down there if I could, just to even gauge the Klingon defenses, but without a capital ship of my own, I'm real wary about trying to even take them on. So I'm not going to risk it right now. So we're just going to once again end our turn, see what everybody else does, and then react accordingly. Destroy them all! Yeah, Klingons are going to have to build another fleet and get that sent out somewhere. For the Confederacy. The Breen, now we're suddenly seeing the Breen, but they did get rejected Four by that uh, non-playable faction. So I wonder who's there. And they are coming in to attack us. We are under attack. It's the Cardassians. Hmm. This is going to be a real tough thing. I'm going to have to really hedge my bets. Thankfully, it looks like the Dreadnoughts are a little bit damaged, and I've got my Starbase F, nothing else. Now let's see if I can hold off the Cardassian fleet with two Dreadnoughts. Savar is really going to have to pull something out of his hat. Full power to shields. I think they're going to go straight after the Starbase. I think that's what they've done. So, instead of flutzing about with some of these other guys, we're going to have to go ahead. Yep, I can hear them attacking it. Yep, it looks like they're probably going to destroy the Starbase. So, we're going to just harass them as best we can. Yep, they just went straight out of their way to destroy it, which is really unfortunate. All right, let's see if I can... Nope, dang it. Dang it, damn, damn it, damn it. Come on, pull out of it, pull out of it, pull out of it. This is going to be a really difficult thing to hang on to. Especially with both of these dreadnoughts. I'll really be impressed if we're able to hold this. If it does get down to just my last ship, I am going to probably retreat from it, though. It won't be worth it trying to hold on to this sector and lose a fleet at the same time. There goes one of the Defiant ships. Dang it. Ship shields. Them. No, dang it. I can't tell where the boundaries of the map is. Alright, come on. We can try and hold this. Just maybe. Of course, my rear shields are out now because I've spent so much time just trying to run away from them. Don't bother with the scout. The scout is one of the weakest things. So it's not really worth our time to focus on it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang it. I'm trying to really gauge where my shots are going to be the most important at. Enemy cruiser destroyed. I got one of them down. I don't think it was either of the dreadnoughts. I'm really having to keep them at my edge. That's the worst part is I can't even see him. I just have to kind of hope that I'm going to aim correctly. Got one of them. Got another one. I think it's those dreadnoughts left, though. If we can hold out and win, this is going to be a massive blow to the Cardassian war effort. But if we don't, it's going to be a massive blow to us. Yep, there they, there they go. It's just those two dreadnoughts, and those two dreadnoughts are more than capable of taking out what little fleet I have here. Come on. Put me back in play. I just... Mm. Yes! We got one of them down. Savar may yet be able to hang on. Yes! 
Yes! Oh my god, Savar was able to hold it. It's been repelled, but at a great cost. I'm so glad I gave him that slight bit of reinforcement. The for the founders. Oh. That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. Upgrade available. Hmm. Well, let's see. What can I upgrade? Mining efficiency is going to be my best bet. Great, because I can't even upgrade the phasers. Shoot, that's the other thing is everybody's research tree is different. So these three aren't important at all. These three are the ones that are important. I think right now it's better that I Mining get. Efficiency increased. And we're going to go ahead and we move Bullock and Savar work. around. Just because it would have, I would have built a space station and then that had nothing to build up a fleet like this. So Savar is going to go ahead and lick his wounds right there because there's nothing else I can really do. I could push him to go up here and take this, but I can't build mines or anything, so there's no real point in doing that. I could take the Argus Array just to get a view of what's going on, but not really worth my time. The only other thing I can really do right now is come here just to knock the Klingons a little bit, because Aaron's clearly going to be the one that's going to be able to take them out. It's going to be a while, but if anybody's going to be able to take them out, it's going to be Aaron. So I think if I go in, take the system, and move back here, It'll knock their credit. They won't make as much. Because I guarantee they have a mine facility here. Yep. So we're just going to destroy that. Mission accomplished. Take what we have. Looks like there is a system there. You know what? No, it's not worth it. Or is it? We can at least see what they have here. We can retreat if I think it's too much. Yeah, way too much. Way too much for me to handle. We've lost. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move back forward. even one more space. There's nothing I can do. If they take this system over, it's not a big loss. I just wanted to see what I'm dealing with, and what I'm dealing with is clearly quite a lot. So, we're going to go ahead, end our turn, and see what everybody else decides to do. I expect the Klingons are going to come in for vengeance either over there or over here, since I just took this from them. But we'll see. Yep, as expected, they just came in just to take that over. We're under attack. Nothing I can do. Regulin system lost. Oh. Of course, they're going to take this over with no issue. So they have built two fleets. System lost. This is what makes it so much more difficult to play as the Federation. The everybody's going to gun for you. For Cardassia. Cardassia is going to start making its move back up for to us. Founders. Oh, and there's the Dominion. The Dominion are moving out for once. Risky, risky. Risky plays. Risky plays. Um, my best bet is get a little Starbase here. And maybe I should drop Vulcan? Hmm. I I'm going to go ahead and build another Starbase here. No, I can't. I can't even get another one. Dang it. Which means if that fleet comes in, I'm going to be completely outplayed. I, I have to be willing to hold this system. Hmm. No, you know what? I think it's better if I just come back here. Because at least back here, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose some money. I'm going to lose because I guarantee the Klingons are going to take that, but at least I've still got a little bit in the way, and I can let some money build up. And at least from here, I've got a chance of holding on. Cruiser constructed. It's not a very pretty chance, but it's a chance I'm going to have to take. This one's not so bad. It's basically the same fleet that Savar had to d defend with. I give him one more Cruiser intrepid class. Just because I guarantee the, the Cardassians are going to want to come in. And if the Dominion come through to Earth, gosh, Savar is not going to be well equipped at all. They're under attack. It's the Klingons. Alpha Omicron lost. Klingon vessels on approach. 40. Eridani lost. We're just going to have to bleed a couple systems and wait until we've got a good enough fleet set up. Genesis device detonated. Ships and structures devastated. There was zero reason to do that.
Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait and just sit and see what happens when they come to me. I've got two decent sized fleets on both sides here. I mean, Aaron's really not as strong as I'd like him to be, but I can't afford a base. I can't even afford turrets. So if somebody comes in here, Aaron's probably gonna have to retreat into the soul system itself. Savar, does Savar's fleet even matter? Uh, you know what, I'm gonna make the sacrificial play. Zavar may have to die, but it's something I think we're gonna have to risk. To hold on to the soul system, our, our best thing is at least to let Safar die and then send Aaron out to try and weaken the Klingons up a little bit. God, we're gonna we're having to play really smart here. It's it's I don't know if it's gonna work out. For the Empire. Yep, they are coming in. Kinda saw that one coming. We're under attack. It's the Klingons. And the fact that Savar just took a massive, massive hit because for some reason the Dominion just decided to strike at us. I'm guessing they want to come in and attack Earth, and they were gonna do that to weaken us up. Full power to weapons. Alright. Well, we can. We can at least give him a good knock. This is for Earth. We got one of them down. These birds of prey, though. Enemy scout eliminated. Maybe I should have just taken on that, the opportunity to attack him when I could. I mean, it was mostly birds of prey. And with their minimal shielding, it would have been a fight maybe I could have won. But let's not worry about that now. We've got to deal with what we have. We've lost the scout. Dang it. Enemy scout destroyed. We'll show them. Enemy scout destroyed. Enemy scout destroyed. Got another one. Hold. Hold. There they go. Alright, we were able to hold it. Will Savar hold out against another Klingon move, though? Mm, I don't know. If they move that second fleet in, which they're going to do, this one may do it. We're going to at least give him a good knock, I think. Which would then let Aaron move out. I think we can give them a good knock and then Full use this as our opportunity. God, they're just quickly overtaking us though. They are just so incredibly fast. Of course, we're going to take a lot of blows to our back shields. And there goes the other guy. Alright, we're about to lose Savar, probably. But he is, given, he is giving it his all right now. Savar's sacrifice will not be forgotten anytime soon. I'm gonna give them such a hard knock with this. There goes another one. We'll show them. Enemy scout is there goes another one. But it's both of these cruisers left, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stand up against them. Let's build up a little bit of. All right, go at him. 
I can see the shields down on one. This is for Earth. Don't know if it's going to be enough. I can play this cat and mouse game all day long, but it doesn't mean I'm going to win. Got one down, though. All right, Savar. Let's see if you can make this mean something. Holy crap! Savar held off against all odds. I can't believe it. They've got a third fleet coming out. For the Confederacy. I can't believe that at all. The Dominion and Breen are going at it. Cardassia is not moving. Dominion is moving in as close as they can, though. Ready for construction. We're gonna lose. The system Bullock is holding, but we can expand out to Kronos and buy ourselves some more time. Full power to weapons. Oh my God, that wasn't even the fleet. I ran the exact wrong direction. Oh. I didn't know where the fleet was going to be coming from, but it wasn't that way. Absolute waste of a beginning charge. Absolute waste, and that is going to cost me. Scout eliminated. All right. We can push out. We may end up... God, I don't want to admit this, but we may end up losing Earth in the process, but we should be able to reclaim it. As long as none of our fleets... So long as Bullock and Aaron hold on, even Savar, Savar's done so much, I don't want to lose her. We could reclaim it if necessary, but that's not really something I, I don't even want to lose it just to begin with, just because that would be such a big blow. Don't know where their other fleets are going to be. Bullock should pull back, just because it's the only... Sensible thing, Savar is definitely just going to bite it. I mean, I don't want to be that glib about it, but Savar is just definitely going to bite it. We've just, we've got to keep pushing in. Affirmative. I'm going to push in as far as I can. No! Gosh, dang it, I wish I didn't have to sim stuff like Mission that. Because that makes it so much more risky. Every ship I lose is a big, big risk. Bullock can hold Earth. We're probably going to lose the Vega system, but maybe we can knock the Klingons out of play. <laughs> We're risking it all here, folks. All right, they had to build a whole new fleet, at least, it looks like. For the Confederacy. Mm, the Breeners getting knocked around out there. For Cardassia. Yep, of course he's going to move in. Cardassian vessels on approach. I'd be surprised if we held out. In fact, I know we're not going to. We're going to lose the station. We're going to lose pretty much everything here. I don't even know if I could give Ducat a bloody nose with this. With just one. Full power to shields. I think I need to let the Dreadnoughts go. This shows I think I need to let the Dreadnoughts go and do their thing. I'm not going to be able to defeat them, so I don't need it. I shouldn't even bother trying. Full power to weapons. We've lost our star base. Yep, there goes the star base. They're going to sweep out here next. I didn't even have... Power to God, I can barely even take down their scout ships. And now they're going to turn everything on me. Yeah, I'm not even going to be able to give Ducat a bloody nose with this. Yep. Yep. I can't even breach the shields of their scout ships. That's how weak the Federation really does start off. If I could just take down even one ship, scout ship or not, 
it would really do some good. It would at least force them to buy another one. This is just, there's no way I'm winning this. Savar, once again, though, is giving it his all. He's faced death I don't know how many times. But he is going to face it through again. It's not going to be worth much, though. Oh! I think I barely got out of the range of that missile. Yes, we are. This is for Earth. Enemy scout destroyed. Another scout destroyed. Enemy cruiser. Got destroyed. another cruiser out. There's none I can do, especially because I've turned tail to him so much. One good volley from any of their ships is going to take me out. Oh, and they just completely opened me up. I'm trying to focus on which one's going to be the scout ship. It's going to be that. That little red arrow. Got another one down. Alright. There's none more Savar can do here. He is really... He's giving it his all. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything to it. I did my best to hold out. I did my absolute best to try and hold out there, but... There was just nothing I could do. I was able to take down, just down to his capital ships. But that's all I could do against him. Thankfully I could upgrade something. Oh, I guess I need to, I, I need to keep putting in the mining efficiency. The more money I get, the longer I can make it, even when I'm not at my base. I think with two dreadnoughts, I might have a chance to ram it down their throats. Awaiting orders. Orders received. We're going to have to take a real risk here. Klingons. Thankfully, there are no turrets, so hopefully I shouldn't screw up like I did the last time and aim towards the wrong set of enemy signals. This is going to be difficult. Full power to weapons. I'm gonna have to really ram it in and hope that this entire little attack fleet I've cobbled together from bits and pieces that is damaged. Every ship in this thing, except for those two Defiants, is damaged because of how much we've had to do. We'll show them. Enemy cruiser eliminated. Vice Admiral. Well deserved, friend. Yeah, if they don't have another fleet moving around, we can go ahead and take their empire and just wipe them off the board. Once again, it's going to be another long slog just to hunt around the edges of their space station, but I think we can do it. And here, hopefully, Vice Admiral Aaron will see his war plan come to fruition as we knock the um, the Klingons off the board first. Hopefully. I mean, these, these turrets could do enough damage that it ends up meaning nothing. It ends up meaning that we're stuck here just farming our, our wounds until it's too late and just biting off the inevitable. But we'll see. Oh, definitely a hard-fought victory. Mission accomplished. Klingon Empire has been defeated. Oh, the Klingons are defeated completely. Good. So that means they're they didn't have another fleet out there. All right, so I can make one more move, 
and I think it's right to start moving back towards our home territory. Awaiting orders. Orders received. Klingons. Fortunately, they did a lot of damage in the meantime. Destroy the target. But that does mean we've at least got one of the factions off the board, and hopefully Soul can understand can withstand whatever comes their way because we've got three, technically four if you count the brain, very angry factions who want to come after us. We gotta bide our time. Hopefully they can wipe each other off the map and then we can just go after whoever's left. But that's gonna be a real risky move. It would take a lot. It would take a very long time. And we can't stay on the defensive that long. We'd be we'd be making no money, we'd have no infrastructure. It would be real risky to take that as the play, so it's gonna be our last resort. Let's go ahead and move the turn and see what happens. For the Empire. Yep, the Romulans are coming in. The Dominions the were the Dominion was able to repulse them there. Cardassia. Is Cardassia gonna move up? Yep, they're gonna move closer. For the founders. Where's the Dominion moving? The Dominion is moving ever closer to Earth. The only question is, who do I go after? I feel like it'd be our best interest to move up and take down the Romulans. I think that'd be our best bet. The Dominion is an existential threat, no doubt about it. But I just cannot imagine being able to face them right now. So I need to keep Aaron's fleet well supplied and well defended because he's going to be our mobile battle fleet for everything. You at least have enough. Go ahead and take. No, I won't. You you should have enough to be able to hold on. Awaiting orders. We're going to go ahead and move up here, but we're going to have to end the turn. Let's see what happens next. But that's going to do it for me right now. We'll see what happens in the next episode. Haha, -ha, gotcha. You'll have to come back. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to leave a like. If you enjoyed listening to the sound of my voice, please drop a sub. Or if you just want to check out the other stuff on the channel, or keep up with the series, or see what I do with Star Trek Infinite uh, in a few weeks, I would love the support. That's going to do it today, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.